What is up guys, Prodigy here, and I got you guys a setup video that some of you guys have been waiting for for a while. Off the back, I hope you guys do enjoy. If you do, please be sure to leave a like, and I'll see you guys later. Peace. Actually, before I send you guys out to check out the new setup video, I want to quickly go over a few pictures that I have of an old setup video that I uploaded on YouTube about seven years ago. And just really quickly over a few pictures of an old setup, and this is to kind of show you guys where it kind of started, like where the whole thing started off at the beginning. So the first picture we got is my PC setup. We used to have a dual monitor setup. There weren't even the same size and monitors. Uh, the one on the left was a 15 inch, and I believe the one on the right was 23 inch. You can see the little webcam on top, the speakers right there, one on the center, one under the monitor. You can see the keyboard. Uh, next picture we got is my subwoofer for the two little speakers, the little router I had, and the printer. And right next to it, you can see my little PC. And uh, I remember mommy and daddy bought me this little PC from Best Buy. I didn't even buy it myself. It was just, I believe, my first PC as, I guess, my own PC. I used to have like a family PC in the house, but this was my own personal PC. And the next thing we got is my TV. This is the one I used to play on. Uh, you can see the little Astro Mix amp right there. And those are the headsets where the HPXs, those, they're discontinued. They don't even make them anymore. And finally, to prove to you guys the date, this was a little Modern Warfare 2 countdown that I had. And as you can see, it wasn't even released at the time. And we, we had a little countdown waiting for it to release. But uh, this is kind of where I started off. I don't know, I just wanted to show you guys this before I showed you guys the new setup. And uh, I hope you guys do enjoy it. Please be sure to drop a like and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace. Alrighty guys, so I believe that's enough for all the pictures. Let's go ahead and get you guys finally the setup video that you guys have been waiting for. So off the bat guys, this is everything right here. This is all I use to edit, stream, record, to do all of it that I do is right here in front of you. Off the back, anything that you see right now on video, on screen, it's going to be linked in the description from Amazon if you guys are interested in purchasing it. But other than that guys, let's go ahead and jump into the setup. I guess the main thing I'm gonna go ahead and start off with is the desk. The desk is a stand-up desk with a simple click of a button. You go from standing to sitting. I know some of you guys off the back are going to be like, yo, Pride, why the hell would you even want a stand-up desk? And to be honest, man, with all the editing and streaming and all the time that I spend sitting down, it actually makes a difference to stand up for a bit and it helps for the back. But the main thing I like about editing standing up is recording my commentaries. And I feel like I have a lot more energy when I'm standing and moving my arms and talking into the mic compared to when I'm just sitting down talking into the mic all like I don't know I feel like I'm more energetic more energy into my videos when I'm standing up and recording them the next thing I want to share with you guys is probably the light setup I know some of you guys like the LED lights first of all we're gonna go ahead and come to my phone um, it's Motorola something 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 we'll have a link in the description we're gonna go over to these two little widgets turn off the lights pretty cool pretty cool grab the controller next to it and turn on the LED lights I'm gonna go ahead and back off now and what I like about it with the simple click I can change the colors to literally anything I want and it's like the whole entire room changes with it also I have a few effects this one changes by itself so it changes a little bit faster to different colors 
This one is one of my favorite ones, just switches slowly by itself. Pretty cool, pretty cool effect right there. Moving on, I guess, to the consoles, which is up below. Got the console set up in a little rack right here. We got the Xbox, we got the PlayStation, and we have my router. And then under, I'll try to show you guys right now, I gotta turn on the light. Under the console area, you can see all the cable management I did. And you can see that little converter that lets me connect my PlayStation and Xbox at the same time to one monitor, that little thing right there that's hanging. And to give you guys a quick example of it, as you can see right now, on the console screen, we are on the Xbox Uno. And with a simple click of a button, or with the remote that I don't know where it's at right now, you just click this thing right there, it'll switch. And then we'll come up upstairs, and then three, two, one, and then the PlayStation comes up. I'm gonna have a control for it, but normally it does it automatically. So for example, if we turn off the Xbox, it should stay on the PlayStation. And if I decide to turn on the Xbox now, it'll switch automatically to the Xbox, which is pretty, pretty freaking cool. Saved a lot of disconnecting and unplugging right there. Again, link in the description. And other than that, there's not really much to show, man. Like my setup is, I guess, I mean, there is a lot of stuff, but it's pretty straightforward, pretty simple. There's consoles, there's computer, monitor screens, a webcam that's for streaming. And other than that, I try to hide all the cables as much as I could. Um, you can see some of them here and there, but I just, I try my best. And other than that, guys, this is really it for this setup, man. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys can, please leave a like. If you need to the channel, make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.